estate is a very difficult uh, issue and topic to understand. There's so many intricacies, and we're so thankful that every other Wednesday we have the real estate segment update here on Kababayan Today. This real estate bus segment is brought to you by McLeod & Associates, a full-service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell. It's about the difference we make in people's lives. And this is also, also of course, thank you to uh, Mia McLeod of McLeod & Associates. Very pretty and very patiently reaching out to us and to our viewers here on Cabo Bayan today to explain the very complicated terms uh, in real estate. Welcome to Cabo Bayan today. Uh, always great to be here. And, and my Tagalog Tagalog phrase. Phrase is <laughs> sa mga viewers, uh, paki-like po ang Facebook page namin, Mia McLeod and the McLeod team. Salamat po. Ayan. See, you know, you're getting better. You should really, are you really, I'm really trying, constantly learning? Yeah. Yes, I'll, I'll try to do some evenings where I just try to speak Tagalog only, Right. but it can hurt my brain a little bit. Does, <laughs> it, a help? Lot. Does it help with the clients? It does, right. um, and the clients speak to me in Tagalog because they understand right. everything. Okay. Um, but they appreciate when I throw in some words here and there. But I can understand everything. Also, so also when you explain uh, terms in Tagalog, I think it's easier for them to understand, understand. And, yes. and to grasp. Yes. So. And uh, speaking of which, uh, so many viewer questions again. More from uh, last two weeks. Yes. And uh, so, are you ready I'm to ready. answer the question? Yes, I'm okay. ready. Um, what is a good rule of thumb to follow when buying a rental? Not sure if a particular property I'm thinking of buying a rental is a good deal or not. Okay, so investment uh, question. You know, it's always a good deal if you can get a property where the rents cover the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, and you still walk away with a little bit of money. Oh, meme ba? There is. Really? Uh, yes, there okay. really is. Uh, second rule of thumb, I think a lot of cash investors are coming out, and they can put their money in a property mm -hmm. and make a rent, rental income on it, which is more than what they would make if they just kept the money in the bank, mm -hmm. along with the added benefits of potential equity appreciation. And another benefit is, you know, if you can snatch up a property that's undervalued, flip okay. it, fix it, and make a decent return on it, then that's a great investment as well. All right. So, I keep hearing, to, too, about uh, rental. It's not easy to rent. It depends. To rent and, it out, yeah. You know, I think right now, especially with some of the foreclosures and short sales, you'll see that the rental market is still very strong because mm -hmm. not everyone can qualify for uh, a mortgage. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, you'll see the rental market has increased. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next question. I want to buy property only under my name, but I'm married. Can that be done or will my spouse automatically have ownership to any property I buy? Okay, California is a community property state. So if you are a husband or a wife, you try to buy a property without letting the other spouse know, okay. they have ownership rights to that property. As long as you buy it when you're already married together. Yes. Okay. So my advice is, if you're thinking about getting married, mm -hmm. seek a very good legal attorney, Family lawyer, yeah, lawyer, yeah. lawyer yeah. for a prenuptial agreement right. maybe, or right. if you are already married, um, just be honest because they're going to find out you won't you won't be able to get away with it right. so yeah okay. community property state you know wife cannot buy without the husband husband cannot buy without what the wife what if you wife. buy while you're still single and yeah. then you get married okay so then that's, that's your okay case. yes that's uh, that case you're, okay. you're clear right. next question is it a conflict of interest to have your realtor be the one also assisting with your loan Okay. In my opinion, no, because as long as everything is disclosed mm -hmm. up front, at the end of the, the day, buyers are allowed to pick any lender that mm -hmm. they want to choose. Um, and in our experience and client feedback, they've told us that when uh, the deal is done under one roof, mm -hmm. that the process is less stressful. It's mm -hmm. You talk to one person. Yes, or you only get updates two. from one person. Mm -hmm. person. Um, the process is seamless. And another thing you want to check for those that are maybe going to a credit union or let's say Bank of America or Wells Fargo, a lot of times you think the processing is done in-house. You right. have to ask because a lot of times they course it to the East Coast or it's done in another state. So the time, the time frames, the zones, right? we've seen it cause some delays and, and challenges. Uh -huh. So, and, and not only that, but now you have to get updates from your realtor, then you've got to get updates from this company. So from client feedback and from our experience, um, it's been a lot less stressful when mm. it's done. Wonderful pieces of advice from Mia McLeod of McLeod & Associates and also a, a 
fast becoming a favorite among viewers of the yes. Real Estate Buzz right. on Cabo Bayan today right, yeah. is our featured listing. You have yes. a featured listing for us today. Yes, this one I believe is in Chino Hills. Oh no, uh, Glendale. Glendale, I'm yes. sorry. Glendale. Okay. This is listed by Gino Lorenzo. It's a condo. It's like very near to uh, Americana, which okay. is a very popular uh, spot. This is a short sale. I think this is perfect for an investor, even um, a move up buyer or a first time home buyer actually that wants to be, uh, you know, close to the Glendale atmosphere where there's a lot of nightlife, a lot of shops right. and things like that. So if you're interested, you know, give us a buzz. This one's a short sale. So How easy or difficult is it to buy a, a property that's for short sale? You know, as long as you're dealing with a realtor that understands the intricacies of a short sale, if this is a realtor that's the first time doing a short sale, then you can run into some issues. You want to make sure that the listing agent um, understands and has had experience in it. Also, you want to check how many loans are on the property. You know, what if that current owner has one, two, three different liens that we have to negotiate with? Not that that's impossible, but it could add an element of... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Challenge. Right. Yeah. And McLeod and Associates, I can assure you, they will take care of you. That's the number to call on the screen. Thank you so much. More power to you. Thank you. More when we return on the show. Don't go away.